Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a trap I found that appears to be extremely overpowered and does not make sense, but I guarantee you that it is real. This isn't a belayed April Fool's joke. I've already done my April Fool's joke video. Now, this is what I think is a deadfall trap for animals, but it can affect cannibals and mutants as well. And the thing does 1000 damage, I figured out, which means that it will kill every mutant in the game bar one, which is the end boss. That takes two hits from this. And all you have to do is knock a log off a stick gently into it and it will kill it. I'm not even joking. It's hard to tell if this is an Easter egg by end night or if it's a legitimate thing. I actually have a feeling they just didn't test this. This is actually more of an active trap. Enemies don't trigger it too easily because where the trigger is, it's underneath the log. So it's hard for them to hit it. But the best way this is used is as an active trap, as in you activating it, which is basically you walking up and pushing the log gently onto them and killing them with it. Now I actually found this by accident by trying to glue under the ground to see if I could get the shotgun on the grave. But all it is, is one log that you place on the ground. You have to place it, you can't drop it. And then you put a stick underneath it at one end. It is quite temperamental. It will fall down sometimes. Also, I have a feeling that Calvin and Virginia can trigger this. And because it does a thousand damage, you've got to be careful with it, I think. It doesn't work well when the ground surface isn't flat. So if it's on a hill, etc., the stick will often fall out from underneath it. This doesn't work that well at the start of the game when they're not that angry at you as they won't come and charge at you. But the best way to use it is to stand on the other side, wait for them to come to you, and then you push it towards them and it doesn't have to hit them hard from what you can tell if you do it to cannibals i have noticed it will knock one of their legs off it doesn't work well on the skinny cannibals they're called muddy cannibals in this game now i don't know why you'd think it would work good against them but they're just too nimble they are really the strongest enemies in the game i think i do recommend when you're trying to provoke them that you have a decent weapon to block with when they come in to hit you you can block the attack and push the log into them be careful of bigger mutants that can knock you down if you build enough of them i think they could trigger it on their own but often they'll stand up on top of it without actually triggering it i don't think this trap is overpowered because you have to take action for it to actually be useful. It's quite difficult to get them to trigger it on their own. I'm hoping that End Knight doesn't remove this, but instead changes it to a more realistic design where, where you can actively bait an enemy into the trap. Because I don't believe this is overpowered. It's just very comical. Now, this is a spoiler warning for anyone who hasn't finished the game. But what I'm about to do is show you the health values of how much damage it does so you know exactly what it's doing. But I had to use the end boss, which has 2000 HP. This isn't much of a spoiler at all, but, but I want to be fair and warn you ahead. So this is the end boss and he does have 2000 HP and this is evidence that it does a thousand damage when it falls on them. And also to show you how much damage the shotgun does, it does just under 200, I believe. So the damage of this log touching them is just over five times more than hitting something with a shotgun at point blank range. There's not going to be a situation where you use this on the demon boss though, because you can't take logs into the cave at this point. But if you could, it would be a good way to kill the end boss. It's not much of a fight. So hopefully you found this information useful. I don't think it's overpowered. I just think it's comical in its execution. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.